Hello and welcome back everyone, and I have done it again, because I can't seem to keep my hands off of the code of this game. I have created a plethora of new elements, and we're going to go through them right now. <laughs> so you may be looking at this here, and you may go, Spike, what am I looking at? That's a good question. You can probably see there is a uh, gas moving through here. There is liquid moving through here. And there's some sort of solid stuff over here, and it's all pretty pink. Well, if you guessed that, then you were just listing off what you could see, and it's not really much of a guess, so I'm disappointed. But I'm willing to tell you exactly what you're looking at right now. You are looking at simulated life in the powder toy. Now, there is the life elements, the game of life elements, but they don't really simulate life. It's just the, the game of life, you know. Boring. Okay, maybe not boring, but it's not quite what I'm looking for. So I went ahead and I created a bunch of elements that can be used to actually simulate a life form. Now let's go through the three that I currently have that we're going to uh, be working on. We have meat, which requires oxygen from blood to survive. We have alveoli, which perform the collection of oxygen, and the removal of CO2 from blood. I'm probably just gonna rename that lung so that people can understand it a little bit more. And then we have blood, which carries oxygen to flesh, which is meat. There's gonna be more kinds of meat in the future. But let me go ahead and show you guys this, and you may be going, what the heck is going on here? Well, it's simple. Blood comes out here, goes down this path, goes into this portal here to restart, so it's a little loop that goes around this way. When the blood is going down this way, it passes by alveoli, which is getting oxygen here, sent through this. This is kind of like the lung section right here. And then it shoots out carbon dioxide, which gets deleted by this void. And then we have this oxygen-rich blood going down this tube of meat, which is why it's red right here, because this is the most oxygen-rich part. And this is just like a little muscle here I put on to see how far I could extend. Uh, if we extend the meat out really far, it will die because it just won't be able to get the nutrients that far. Um, very sad, <laughs> very depressing truth, but it, it just can't go that far. You need a blood supply. And uh, there's a lot you're gonna be able to do with this. Still need to throw this on GitHub, but it's not quite ready, so I don't feel too bad. I have work to do, okay? There's a lot of work to be done on this, but let me show you guys First, what happens if I do various things to this, and then um, what happens, well, how each thing works individually. So first off, if we remove the supply of oxygen, we're going to see what happens very quickly. So it still has some stored in it, but you can see that the alveoli, basically the lung section, is starting to get dark and purple. And that's not good. That means that our oxygen-rich supply is starting to run low. It's still trying to take it from this bottom section here, which can actually send it through, uh, but it's not as quick. And it's, uh, it is getting very purple. So now that this basically has no stored oxygen anymore, the blood in the circulatory system is starting to go dark purplish. This doesn't happen in real life. I mean, blood isn't quite as bright red if it's deoxygenated. It doesn't quite turn like blue, but for the sake of being able to see what's going on, I, I did that, so yell at me. <laughs> and as we can see, the blood now has no oxygen left in it, so the meat is starting to die which we can tell because of the life variable, which is getting low. And the temp TMP variable is the carbon dioxide stored in it. So as you can see, everything is starting to die. Now, I don't have it set to turn into like dead tissue yet when it dies. So it's not like end of the world. We can bring it back. All we have to do is we have to go ahead and get our clone again. Go ahead and create some of these to get our maximum surface area of oxygen being created. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're going to get the oxygen tool, pump this up, and boom! Now that we are starting to pass oxygen through the lungs again, you can see that the blood is starting to pick up all of that oxygen. It's starting to turn red again, and the meat is starting to very slowly come back to life. 
So as you can see, it works. You can tell when things die. The gas exchange actually does work. You can see the CO2 coming out at the end there. If I turn it onto this display, you'll be able to see it much more easily. It starts mostly oxygen, ends up mostly CO2. It's pretty realistic, actually, because respiration isn't 100% efficient in the real world. Nothing's 100% efficient. They may be asking other things like, what if we reduce the blood supply? Good question. If I reduce the blood supply like this, I have a feeling I've actually not done this before, but I can, I can guesstimate. Sorry, I broke the blood vessel a little bit. Um, I can guesstimate what's going to happen. The blood that is there is going to get much more red because it's going to be taking all of the blood for itself. And that is happening. It's actually getting very red. Uh, but it's not able to transfer as easily. And this muscle over here is, it's not dead, but it's, it's not doing the best. If I made this a little bit thinner, it may still work. And then similarly, if I increase the blood supply by a lot, we it makes it a little bit slower actually um just because of how the particle physics work in this uh the blood can oh the blood can't actually transfer oxygen among itself meat can meat can move its resources among itself slowly not as quickly as if blood does it but it can still do it pretty slowly actually increasing the amount of blood it has severely decreased the amount of carbon dioxide buildup in the uh muscle which has caused it to become much more red which is a good thing because carbon dioxide in your bad <laughs> We want to get rid of that as quickly as possible. I actually believe that in this game, uh, you can turn carbon dioxide into oxygen again uh, using plant. Let me test that theory because we may actually be able to make a symbi uh, symbiotic relationship here. Loop? Yes! Oh my god. <laughs> We have actually done it. I cannot believe this. <laughs> okay, so the plants are actually converting the CO2 back into oxygen, which is keeping the the meat alive. We've legitimately created like a sustaining creature. This is in this is awesome. <laughs> There's so many things we can do with this. I'm so excited. I am so excited. I'm going to continue adding more elements. and They're going to be exciting and do cool things with life. And honestly, I was seriously inspired by the Body V5 uh, map, which is one of my absolute favorites. But um, I'm not gonna lie, when, when this system is complete, we are going to be able to make something much better. Not artistically, because I can't do art, but when it comes to functionality, you're gonna be able to make some really cool stuff. It'll be able to die realistically, fall apart and decay. There'll be like medicine you can use to heal cells. It's going to be brilliant. It's gonna be great. Like, look at this. This may not look like much, but this is the future. Oh, also fun fact, flesh, I'm pretty sure flesh is flammable. Oh no! Oh, that was sad. Oh gee. Kids, this is why you don't smoke. Because watch, if you just smoke a little bit, this is what'll happen. This is what'll happen. The, the plants keeping you alive will explode leading to your lungs burning and then your muscles getting absolutely erect, your blood pooling at the bottom of your body. Absolutely sad. This this is a big life lesson here. Big left life lessons with Spike. Point being, this is fantastic. Um, actually, let me just go ahead and make a new thing. So I can show you guys a few things. So, blood will actually pick up oxygen on its own. It doesn't technically need uh, the lung tissue to function, but the lung tissue is way faster. So if we go ahead, this is just normal blood. So it only actually turns bluish if it's holding carbon dioxide. It gets dark if it doesn't have oxygen. So there's kind of two different things going on there. Uh, but if we go ahead and we put oxygen in, you'll see that the top layer of blood very slowly lightens up. 
And that you can actually use this to make an artificial lung without lung tissue, which I can show you uh, I've actually made one on my own. This is the artificial lung using a swirly mass, <laughs> a swirly mass of, of oxygen and blood. I've, I have managed to design an artificial lung and um, the only issue is that the artificial lung cannot get rid of the carbon dioxide. You need the lung tissue to do that. You can oxygenate blood, but you can't get the carbon dioxide out. Because otherwise it would cause blood clots. If, yeah, so I couldn't make that happen. But this artificial lung, if you constantly used fresh, new blood. I don't know where you're getting your endless supply of blood, but I guess I won't ask. Uh, if we go ahead and we get our uh, meat here, and we just replace the bottom of this with meat, I do believe it'll be completely healthy and we can make like a meat cube off of it. Mmm. Meat cube. And the meat cube is actually not doing a terrible job surviving. It's uh... Okay, most of it's kind of dead because it's just so wide. But look at that! It's doing great. The only issue is, again, the blood is picking up the carbon dioxide and the, the blood has absolutely nowhere to put the carbon dioxide, so... We're gonna start seeing the, the blood in the system is going to start turning purpley and there's nothing you can do about that. Well, I mean, you could add more blood to the system, I guess. Just continually add more and more blood. In the same vein, we can add more oxygen to try to just get as much out of this system as we possibly can, but yeah, the artificial lung just is not going to work as well as the real thing. And we're already seeing, you can see the blue dots, you can see what's happening. That carbon dioxide is going to cause issues. And we can actually kind of see the maximum distance we can go without a blood vessel. Um, I mean, it's fine because all you have to do is legitimately just build a blood vessel. Y you want the meat to go out further? That's cool. Let's just build a little tunnel through here. And, uh, boom, blood vessel. Now that we have blood moving through there, the meat is healthy and it's going further. So you can probably see how this is going to be fun. Um, unless you're a weirdo and don't like fun. I, I think I think you guys can probably see the applications that are available for this technology, and I, I hope you're as excited as I am because, oh man, this is a lot of work. So thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I will see you all next time. No, I, I think I just broke a rule by uh, doing what I have done, simulating life in the patter toy. But if you want to support me in breaking the rules of the universe, you should leave a like, subscribe, enjoy more content at a leisurely pace, or just fly through it all. Maybe just fly through it all and click on all the ads. I, I'm not biased at all. Maybe support me on Patreon. Bye.